The old man set up his sniper rifle and aimed at the three punks. He could have blown their heads off, but it was too easy for them. As the beer bottle exploded, the boy screamed. The tools of the trade were confiscated. The old man saw that he had achieved his goal. The old man quickly put on his clothes, picked up the eggshells, and calmly went downstairs, and continued to watch his friends play chess. Little did these people know that the old man had then avenged his granddaughter's death. Soon the ambulance came. Seeing the young man being carried on a stretcher, the old man calmly left the scene of the crime. Then the police chief came. There were rumors that a champagne explosion had caused the crime, but then he saw the hole in the sofa. He realized there was more to it than that. Shortly after, the old man came back to the park. He zeroed in on the gas tank. With the sound of a gunshot, the gas tank was hit. The car exploded. The car burst into flames. The boy quickly jumped out of the car, but he was still seriously injured by the flames. Then the old man went downstairs and watched the fire trucks arrive. And watched the fire trucks arrive. He was a spectator in the crowd. 